in this lecture i am going to discuss on the vibrational raman spectra vibrational raman spectra raman spectra means the raman effect due to the vibrational transitions in a molecule we know that the molecules have vibrational energy and its expression is epsilon vibrational ever epsilon v is equal to v plus half into omega bar e minus v plus half the whole square omega bar e x e where v is the vibrational quantum number and we can have the value 0 1 2 3 etc and omega bar e is the equilibrium uh, frequency and the xc is the <coughs> and harmonicity constant okay we have already discussed this in detail in the vibrational spectroscopy of molecules and here the raman effect is due to the vibrational transition it means that the photon hits the molecule hits the molecule and at that time the molecule undergoes some vibrational transition okay so it can undergo excitation vibrational excitation from one vibrational level to the other vibrational level a lower vibrational level to the higher vibrational level then the molecule gains some energy from the incoming photon and the photon then scattered with a, a less energy because some of its energy is utilized by the molecule it is in an inelastic collision means the photon transfer the energy to the molecule to make a vibrational transition and the scattered photon will have less energy or the scattered photon will have an energy that is nu bar excitation minus uh, delta e okay minus delta e where delta e is this one this is delta e minus delta e so that much energy will be less for the scattered photon and another situation is the molecule is already in the excited vibrational level and the molecule is de-exciting and this de-exciting process is accompanied by a release of energy delta E and this energy is gained by the incident photon and the photon scattered with a higher energy that is nu bar exciting plus delta E. Okay? Here nu bar exciting is the energy of the incoming photon. This is the energy of the incoming photon. So in this way, we will get a series of lines with a less energy and a higher energy. In addition to that, most of the photons will hit the molecule and they will scatter back without any change in the energy. Means there will be the, the energy of the incoming photon will not be utilized by the molecule for any internal vibration and in that case the photon will hit back with the uh, scatter with the the same um, uh, frequency that is nu bar excitation okay so that leads to the Rayleigh uh, scattering this leads to the uh, Rayleigh scattering Rayleigh scattering and this one leads to the Stokes lines, Stokes lines due to the vibrational transition and this leads to the anti-Stokes lines due to the vibrational de-excitation, anti-Stokes lines. Okay, so this is how the vibrational Raman spectrum is arising simply. And now we can go for the um, more uh, uh, deeper analysis of this vibrational Raman spectrum because we already have the expression for the vibrational levels in the molecule now we are going to apply the selection rules and then we will can have a better understanding about how the vibration raman spectrum is originating okay so the selection rule in this case is delta v is equal to 0 or plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 etc this is the same selection rule that we already saw in the case of the enharmonic oscillator, right? Plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, etc. Are the same selection rules that we saw in the case of IR spectroscopy for enharmonic oscillator. 
so we have all the we have this almost same selection rule here we have here we have delta v is equal to 0 also and this delta v is equal to 0 that corresponds to the Rayleigh scattering Rayleigh scattering means there is no vibrational transition of the molecule and the incoming photon doesn't lose its energy or it gains the energy and that leads to the Rayleigh lie but the other selection rules delta v is equal to plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 etc that corresponds to the molecular excitation or de-excitation vibrationally and here we don't need to worry too much about the delta uh, plus or minus 2 transitions okay okay because that will have a less intensity and already we know that the transitions of importance is v is equal to 0 to 1 transition that is the fundamental transition right this is a fundamental transition fundamental transition and another transition that we have already learned v is equal to 0 to 2 okay that corresponds to delta v is equal to 2 and another transition that we have already learned in the vibration spectroscopy is v is equal to 1 to 2 okay and this is a fundamental transition this is the overtone overtone and this is v is equal to 1 to 2 transition is corresponding to the hot band right hot band because this transition can be obtained only if the molecule is heated at that time the first vibration level or v is equal to 1 vibration level will be uh, populated well and at that time we can see the transitions from the v is equal to 1 vibration level so that is why it is called a hot band because that band will be arising only at a higher temperature so these are the trans common vibration transitions we have already learned in the vibration spectroscopy here also we can see such transitions the transition of fundamental uh, nature and uh, the energy corresponding to that you already know the energy corresponding to this delta e delta e fundamental is equal to omega bar e into 1 minus 2 x e okay i am not going to the details of this or derivation of this because we have already derived this while learning the vibration spectroscopy so the uh, energy for the energy in terms of centimeter inverse energy for the fun fundamental transition is omega bar e into 1 minus 2 x e and the energy for this overtone this is the first two overtone okay and this corresponds to delta e overtone that is equal to 2 omega bar e into 1 minus 3 x e and uh, delta e uh, hot delta e hot that is equal to omega bar e into 1 minus 4 x e we have already learned these expressions and here the overtone and uh, hot uh, band okay actually these are weaker effects and they are weaker in the vibrational spectroscopy itself so in the raman spectroscopy they will be much much weaker okay and therefore we can neglect this type of uh, transitions vibrational transitions and we will be concentrating only on the fundamental transition okay because these are very low intensity transitions and um, when we are taking the the, the raman spectroscopic technique common raman spectroscopic technique it will be very difficult to see this but of course you can study the raman spectroscopy in detail and you can see such over stone hot bands also but for our discussion now we are concentrating only on the fundamental transition okay so it means that the molecule can make the excitation vibrational excitation from v is equal to 0 level to v is equal to 1 level okay it can make an excitation and the energy corresponding to this is written here that is delta e fundamental okay and in the reverse case the it can make a de excitation like this okay from v is equal to 1 to v is equal to 0 this is a de excitation 
and the same energy will be released in this process. Delta E fundamental energy will be released in this process. So in this case, if it is the excitation, vibrational excitation, then what will be the frequency of the scattered radiation? Because the scattered radiation's frequency depends upon the incident radiation and incident radiation's frequency and the frequency of the uh, vibrational excitation. Okay, so in this case, the 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 Raman line, okay, will have the frequency nu bar Raman nu bar Raman fundamental. This corresponds to fundamental also. So let me write nu bar Raman fundamental. In this case, is nu bar excitation. That is the frequency of the incoming photon. Let's see the incoming photon and the frequency. The incoming photon and the frequency is the scattery and the photon and the frequency. Because the excitation is the molecular excitation. Therefore, some frequency will be released and some frequency will be less. And some energy is utilized for this process. So, the Raman line's frequency will be nu bar excitation minus the frequency corresponding to the vibrational excitation that is delta e fundamental delta e fundamental and in if it is in this case then nu bar raman nu bar raman fundamental it is equal to nu bar excitation that is the frequency of the incoming photon plus some frequency will be added to that to the scattered light because some energy is released in this process that energy will be added to the scattered photons uh, scattered photon okay so the the frequency of the scattered photon is equal to nu bar excitation plus uh, delta e fundamental so generally we can write nu bar raman raman fundamental is equal to nu bar excitation plus or minus delta e fundamental okay so that will be the frequency of the raman spectral line so all these frequencies are expressed in centimeter nu bars so if we are giving the negative sign that will lead to the line that will lead to a series of lines Correspond uh, series of lines having frequency less than the nu bar excitation or frequency less than the incoming photon. Okay, and that leads to the Stokes lines. So for Stokes lines, this is negative. For Stokes lines, it will be negative in the plus or minus sign. The negative stands for Stokes Stokes line. And for anti-Stokes lines, for anti-Stokes lines, this corresponds to the plus sign here, plus sign here, positive sign. So in the anti-Stokes lines, the the frequency of the scattered photons will be greater than the frequency of the incoming photon. Okay. So this is how the Stokes lines and the anti-Stokes lines are arising in the vibrational Raman spectrum. And uh, here we know that uh, we are considering the fundamental transition only. Fundamental transition only. Okay. We can consider other transitions as well. Corresponding to that, we will get uh, other uh, lines as well. But generally, with the considerable intensity, we will see only this uh, fundamental transition. The line corresponding to this fundamental transition. And you know that in, in a molecule, there are different vibrational modes, right? And corresponding to different vibrational modes, we may get the Raman lines. Okay. So something is um, uh, some modes will not be Raman active, and uh, some lines may not be IR active. Okay. We this these things we will discuss in another uh, portion that is the mutual exclusion principle. You have already learned this. In the group theory of the last semester, I will discuss that in another video. Okay, so for now we are considering only the fundamental uh, 
of uh, vibration or fundamental transition and corresponding to that we will get the low frequency line and a high frequency line in the ram spectrum and here we have to note that the anti stokes lines here anti stokes lines here are weaker much much weaker than the stokes lines when we learned the rotational raman spectrum we learned that the stokes lines and anti stokes lines may have almost equal intensity but unlike that here the vibrational raman spectrum the anti stokes lines will be much much weaker than the uh, stokes lines anti stokes lines have greater frequency right their intensity will be less the intensity will be less the reason is that the anti stokes lines are originating because of the de excitation of the molecule the molecule should be in a higher vibrational state to be de excited but if we are doing the calculations we can see that the population in the higher vibrational states are very less we have already done this calculation in the vibration of spectroscopy there we saw that the population of the higher vibrational states are very 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 less compared to the ground state so this is a different situation correspond uh, situation when compared to the rotational levels in the case of rotational levels uh, the higher rotational levels are the first few uh, rotational levels are almost equally populated okay but that is not the case in the ca uh, case of vibrational levels in the case of vibration levels the ground vibrational level will be well populated or it will be largely populated or hugely populated and the, if you are going for the v is equal to 1 or v is equal to 2 like that the population is dramatically decreased okay so the molecules de excitation will happen only with a low intensity because if the de excitation to happen the molecule should be first in an excited vibration level but the number of such molecules in the excited excited vibration level is very less so that leads to that leads to a low intensity of the anti stokes lines okay so that you can uh, keep in mind and this is how the vibra the uh, vibration raman spectrum originates and this vibration raman spectrum for example if you are considering the stokes line corresponding to the fundamental vibration transition its a frequency will be nu bar excitation minus delta e fundamental okay let me write it more clearly in the case of uh, stokes line in the case of stokes line stokes line then the the frequency of the stokes line okay that is nu bar uh raman raman fundamental okay for stokes line that is equal to nu bar excitation minus delta e fundamental delta e fundamental but we know that delta e fundamental what is delta e fundamental that is equal to omega bar e into 1 minus 2 xc so here we can write omega bar e into 1 minus 2 xc omega bar e into 1 minus 2 xc centimeter in force so this is the frequency of the stokes line corresponding to the fundamental transition okay this one and this line will be again split into different if you are using a high resolution raman spectrometer you can see that these lines will be again split but it is no, you have to remember that raman the, the 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 common raman spectrometers are not very good to resolve that much but still it is possible that you can resolve the raman lines and if you are resolving these raman lines you can see that this line corresponding to the stokes region in the and corresponding to the fundamental transition this line this line will be again split into several and this is due to 
the accompanying rotational transition also because we already know that within a vibrational level there will be several rotational level so when the molecule make a transition from v is equal to 0 to v is equal to one line okay that corresponds to the stokes line and during this vibrational transition there will be an accompanying rotational transition also because in v is equal to 0 there will be several rotational levels and v is equal to 1 also there will be several rotational levels so when this transition happens the transition starts from a particular rotational level in the v is equal to 0 level to and ends up in a particular rotational level in the v is equal to 1 level so there will be an accompanying rotational transition and because of this you will get a rotational fine structure rotational rotational fine structure so if you are using a higher resolution spectrometer you can see this rotational fine structure so let us give this new bar raman fundamental which is equal to nu bar xit minus omega bar into 1 minus 2 xc okay and here in in this expression we can give omega bar into 1 minus 2 xc okay let me put this as a nu bar 0 that is the energy corresponding to the vibrational transition energy corresponding to the fundamental transition okay so let me put this one the vibrational energy corresponding to the fundamental transition that is equal to nu zero okay nu zero nu bar zero so this one corresponds to the fundamental transition so we can write like nu bar raman raman fundamental okay that is equal to nu bar exciting minus minus nu bar zero okay that is for the stock slides and it will be further resolved due to rotation so the rotational transitions correspond are governed by the selection rule delta j is equal to 0 and delta j is equal to plus or minus 2 this we have already learned in the rotation pure rotation raman spectrum Okay, here j is the rotational quantum number, j can have the values 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. So, here we have to consider, when we are considering the rotational transition accompanying the vibrational transition, then we have to consider both the energy due to the rotational level and the vibrational level. So, the total energy Ejb is equal to V plus half into omega bar e, e omega bar e minus v plus half into omega bar e xc e v plus half the whole square into omega bar e xc e plus the rotational energy that is bj into j plus 1 okay i am just, just neglecting the other term due to the centrifugal distortion okay that I am neglecting because that is a very, very, very small term. So, when this vibrational rotational transition is happening from V is equal to 0 to V is equal to 1 level, okay. So, this is a fundamental transition that we are already considering. So, when there is a vibrational rotational transition, let me write it as, I will write it in the next page. When there is a fundamental rotation, fun, there is a fundamental vibrational and the rotation transition taking place then delta e v is equal to 0 to 1 this is a fundamental transition okay and then there is a transition from j to j plus 1 j to j plus 1 and the energy corresponding to this transition is you already know what is the vibrational energy change for the fundamental transition that is omega bar e into 1 minus 2 xc that is a vibration energy change corresponding to the, the fundamental transition or we can call this as nu bar 0 plus the 
energy change corresponding to the rotational transition that is b into 4j plus 4j plus 6 you know how this expression is written because we have already uh, derived this uh, expression in the pure rotational diamond spectrum in the previous lecture so this is the total energy change during the vibrational rotational transition okay during the vibration rotational transition and j is equal to plus 2 is also possible uh, this is j is equal to plus 2 not j is equal to uh, j plus 1 this j is equal to j to j plus 2 transition j, j to j plus 1 transition is not allowed by spectroscope by selection rule only transition allowed is j is equal to j that is delta j is equal to 0 and j is, j is equal to j, j is equal to j to j is equal to j plus 2 or these are the only transition j to j transition this corresponds to delta j is equal to 0 the other transition possible is j to j plus 2 transition that corresponds to delta j is equal to plus 2 okay the reverse transition is also possible so if it is accompanying if this fundamental transition is accompanying this one j to j plus 2 transition then the energy is omega bar e into 1 minus 2 x e plus b into 4 j plus 6. I have not given the details of these two because we have already learned this the details of these two. So we can write it like this is nu bar 0 that is the frequency of the fundamental vibrational transition. So let me write that is equal to nu bar 0 nu bar 0 plus b into 4j 4j plus 6 okay and if the transition is the reverse if the rotation transition is reverse then we can write delta e v is equal to 0 to 1 okay we are considering the stokes line that is why we are considering only the vibrational excitation and so the vibration excitation here is that of the fundamental transition. So V is equal to 0 to 1. Then J plus 2 to J transition. Here the rotational D excitation is happening. Vibrational excitation and then rotationally D exciting. Okay. Means the there is a J plus 2 to J transition. Or J plus 2 level in the V is equal to. Uh, 0 level to j level in the v is equal to 1 level okay so in this case the energy is nu bar 0 okay nu bar 0 here it will be minus b into 4j plus 6 because here we have to take the energy of the jth level minus the energy of the j plus 2 level. Energy of the final rotational level minus energy of the uh, low, uh, initial rotational level. So that will be negative here, right? Because energy of the j plus 2 level is higher than the energy of the jth level. Therefore, when we are reducing this one and reducing this one from this one, we will get a negative quantity. Okay. So this is the uh, energy or um, or this is the energy corresponding to the fundamental transition but a rotational de excitation okay and if if it is delta j is equal to 0 then it is delta e v is equal to 0 to 1 then j to j okay j to j it means that there is no rotational energy change then that corresponds to nu bar 0 nu bar 0 okay so these are the energies during the three types possible here okay and then what will be the energy corresponding to these different possibilities in the raman spectrum here we are considering only the energy of the rotational and vibrational transition that energy is absorbed right this much energy is absorbed by the molecule in case of energy absorbed 
ഇതെല്ലാം സത്യത്തിൽ ഒരു എക്സൈറ്റേഷൻ പ്രോസസ് ആണ് വൈ ഒരു വൈബ്രേഷണൽ ലെവലിൽ നിന്നും വി ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന വൈബ്രേഷണൽ ലെവലിൽ നിന്നും വി ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു വൺ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന വൈബ്രേഷണൽ ലെവലിലേക്ക് നടക്കുന്ന എക്സൈറ്റേഷൻ ആണ് ഇതിനുള്ളിലാണ് റൊട്ടേഷണൽ എക്സൈറ്റേഷൻ റൊട്ടേഷണൽ ഡീ എക്സൈറ്റേഷനും സംഭവിക്കുന്നത് അത് ചെറിയ എമൗണ്ടുകളാണ് കാരണം റൊട്ടേഷൻ എനർജി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഇതിനകത്ത് നിൽക്കുന്ന എനർജി ലെവൽസ് ആണ് അതുകൊണ്ട് ഇവിടുത്തെ റൊട്ടേഷണൽ എക്സൈറ്റേഷൻ ആയാലും റൊട്ടേഷണൽ ഡീ എക്സൈറ്റേഷൻ ആയാലും ഇൻ എഫക്റ്റ് ദിസ് ഈസ് എ വൈബ്രേഷണൽ എക്സൈറ്റേഷൻ അതാ കാരണം ഈ വൈബ്രേഷണൽ എനർജി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് വൈബ്രേഷണൽ ട്രാൻസ്ലേഷന് വേണ്ടി ഉപയോഗിക്കപ്പെടുന്ന എനർജി എന്ന് വളരെ 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 കൂടുതലാണ് ഇതിൻ്റെ ഈ റൊട്ടേഷണൽ ട്രാൻസ്ലേഷൻ്റെ ഏതാണ്ട് ടെൻ റൈസ് ടു ത്രീ ടൈംസ് ആണ് വൈബ്രേഷണൽ ട്രാൻസ്ലേഷന് വേണ്ടി ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നത് ദർ ഫോർ ഇൻ എഫക്റ്റ് ഓൾ ദീസ് ആർ ദ എക്സൈറ്റേഷൻ പ്രോസസ് ഈ പ്രോസസ്സുകളിലെല്ലാം എന്താണ് റേഡിയേഷനെ അബ്സോർബ് ചെയ്യപ്പെടുന്ന പ്രോസസ്സുകളാണ് നമ്മൾ ഇപ്പം പറഞ്ഞതെല്ലാം ഒരു കേസിലും റേഡിയേഷനെ എമിറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന പ്രോസസ്സുകളല്ല അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് ഇതെല്ലാം സ്റ്റോക്സ് ലൈന് കറസ്പോണ്ടിങ് ആയിട്ട് വരുന്നത് റേഡിയേഷനെ അബ്സോർബ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് കൊണ്ട് ഇൻസിഡൻറ്റ് റേഡിയേഷൻ്റെ ഫ്രീക്വൻസി കുറഞ്ഞ് സ്കാറ്റേർഡ് റേഡിയേഷൻ ലോ ഫ്രീക്വൻസി റേഞ്ചിലായിരിക്കും സ്കാറ്റർ ചെയ്യപ്പെടുന്നത് സോ ഓൾ ദീസ് ആർ കറസ്പോണ്ടിങ് ടു ദ സ്റ്റോക്സ് ലൈൻസ് ഇവിടുത്തെ റൊട്ടേഷണൽ ഡീ എക്സൈറ്റേഷനും എക്സൈറ്റേഷനും കണ്ടുകൊണ്ട് ഇത് എനർജി ഒരു കേസിൽ എനർജി അബ്സോർവ് ചെയ്യപ്പെടുകയും മറ്റേ കേസിൽ എനർജി എമിറ്റ് ചെയ്യപ്പെടുകയാണെന്ന് വിചാരിക്കരുത് കാരണം റൊട്ടേഷണൽ ട്രാൻസിഷൻസ് നടക്കുന്നത് വൈബ്രേഷണൽ ട്രാൻസിഷൻ്റെ അകത്ത് നിന്നുകൊണ്ടാണ് ഇവിടെ നമ്മൾ പരിഗണിക്കുന്ന വൈബ്രേഷൻ ട്രാൻസിഷൻ എക്സൈറ്റേഷൻ തന്നെയാണ് അതുകൊണ്ട് അവിടെ റൊട്ടേഷണൽ ഡീ എക്സൈറ്റേഷൻ സംഭവിച്ചാൽ പോലും ഇൻ എഫക്റ്റ് അതൊരു എക്സൈറ്റേഷൻ പ്രോസസ്സ് ആണ് ഫ്രം വി സിക്കൽ ടു സീറോ ടു വി സിക്കൽ ടു വൺ ലെവലിലേക്കുള്ള എക്സൈറ്റേഷൻ പ്രോസസ്സ് ആണ് so what will be the frequency of the raman lines corresponding to these different vibrational transitions accompanied by the rotational transition the raman lines frequency will be obtained from our expression for the stokes line the expression for the stokes line is nu bar raman raman fundamental stokes line okay stokes line that is equal to nu bar excitation minus this energy delta e delta e which is calculated here okay so this delta e corresponds to different different uh, transitions different types of transitions so let us substitute for this delta e in this equation okay and uh, then we will analyze how the spectrum will uh, arise so nu bar raman fundamental stokes line Okay, let us uh, calculate this one. So, nu bar Raman fundamental stocks that is equal to nu bar excitation nu bar excitation nu bar excitation minus uh, delta i. Okay, so let me first choose the delta i which is this one okay this one i am taking one first that is corresponding to the rayleigh scattering here there is no um, rayleigh means there is no excitation rotation excitation that is why i said the uh, uh, rayleigh okay there is no rotation excitation and uh, if there is no rotation excitation then we will use uh, this delta i so that corresponds to nu bar zero okay nu bar zero so let me write nu bar zero nu bar zero and this if this is the situation that leads to the q branch of the first rotational fine structure q branch q branch of the rotational fine structure but i'm going to really scattering in the brain the option will occur now the vibrational excitation already some boy in under അതുകൊണ്ട് നമുക്ക് ഇവിടെ റെയിൽവേ സ്കാറ്ററിംഗ് എന്ന് പറയാൻ ഒക്കത്തില്ല പക്ഷേ റൊട്ടേഷണൽ എക്സൈറ്റേഷൻ സംഭവിക്കുന്നുണ്ടെന്ന് മാത്രമേ ഉള്ളൂ അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ ക്യൂ ബ്രാഞ്ച് ഓഫ് ദ സ്പെക്ട്രം എന്ന് പറയാം ക്യൂ ബ്രാഞ്ച് ഓഫ് ദ സ്പെക്ട്രം ആൻഡ് ഇൻ ക്യൂ ബ്രാഞ്ച് ഓഫ് ദ സ്പെക്ട്രം ദെയർ ഈസ് നോ റൊട്ടേഷണൽ എക്സൈറ്റേഷൻ നമ്മളിപ്പോൾ റൊട്ടേഷണൽ ഫൈൻ സ്ട്രക്ചറാണ് പറഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് രാമൻ സ്പെക്ട്രത്തിൻ്റെ വൈബ്രേഷൻ രാമൻ സ്പെക്ട്രത്തിൻ്റെ സ്റ്റോക്സ് ലൈൻ സ്റ്റോക്സ് സീരീസിൽ വരുന്ന അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സ്റ്റോക്സ് ലൈനിലുള്ള ഫണ്ടമെൻ്റൽ ട്രാൻസിഷൻ്റെ ഫണ്ടമെൻ്റൽ ലൈനിൻ്റെ റൊട്ടേഷൻ ഫൈൻ സ്ട്രക്ചർ ആണ് നമ്മൾ പറഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് ആ റൊട്ടേഷൻ സ്ട്രക്ച ഫൈൻ സ്ട്രക്ചറിലെ ക്യൂ ബ്രാഞ്ചാണ് ഇത് ഏതാണ് ന്യൂബാർ എക്സൈ
minus mu bar 0 that corresponds to the q branch of the spectrum so we can write like nu bar q okay nu bar q nu bar q is equal to nu bar excitation minus nu bar 0 now we can take the next possibility next possibility is delta j is equal to plus 2 okay this transition j to j plus 2 transition that is the next possibility i am considering and in this case delta j is equal to plus 2 nerthe consider the delta j is equal to uh, zero error the q branch in the case consider the e case consider the delta j is equal to zero error ini nammal consider cheyanu delta j is equal to plus 2 if delta j is equal to plus 2 delta j is equal to plus 2 and that leads to the s branch of the spectrum s branch of the spectrum s branch s branch of the rotational fan structure and in that case nu bar s is equal to nu bar s that is nu bar in this expression nu, for uh, nu bar raman fundamental stokes here we are giving a nu bar s because we are discussing the s branch of the spectrum nu bar s is equal to nu bar excitation minus delta i what is nu bar excitation minus delta i delta i in this case is and uh, nu bar 0 plus b into 4j plus 6 so let us substitute for this delta i here and we can get nu bar excitation nu bar excitation minus delta i minus delta i is this quantity we should subtract so we can write minus nu bar 0 minus b into 4j plus 6 okay and here j is equal to j is equal to j is equal to 0 1 2 3 etc okay. the j to j plus 2 transition on the record j to j plus 2 transition Pinate J in the another J Adam zero to J to J plus two transition mean zero to two, one to three, two to four, etc. These are the transitions, right? Zero to two, zero to two, one to three, then two to four, etc. These are the J is equal to plus two, delta J is equal to plus two transitions. And then corresponding at an uh, yes branch or the native upon j values are again 0 1 2 3 etc on j values so this is how the s branch of the spectrum is originated for different values of j we will get a different nu bar yes right and now we can discuss what happens if delta j is equal to minus 2 delta j is equal to minus 2 see in this case delta j is equal to minus 2 because it is j plus 2 to j transition in this case delta j is equal to minus 2 so when delta j is equal to minus 2 that is the third situation here this leads to o branch of the spectrum so delta j is equal to minus 2 that leads to o branch of the spectrum o branch of the spectrum and the frequency corresponds to this O branch that is nu bar O is equal to nu bar excitation nu bar excitation see we can see the expression for that nu bar excitation minus delta E okay this is a common uh, expression for all the uh, lines um, for the rotational fine structure so nu bar excitation minus delta E but in this case delta e is equal to nu 0 minus 4j plus 6 so when we are substituting this delta e in our expression this term will become positive and this term will become negative because of this negative sign here so we can write the expression nu bar excitation minus nu bar 0 plus plus b into 4j plus 6 see 
In the case of S branch, it was minus B into 4J plus 6. But when we came to O branch, it is plus B into 4J plus 6. So what are the J values here? So the transitions here are, these are D excitation transition. This is equal to J plus 2 to J transition. J plus 2 to J transition. J plus 2 to J transition. So what are the J plus 2 to J transitions possible? That is 2 to 0, then 3 to 1, then 4 to 2. These are the transitions possible. And what are the possible value? What are the J values here? J values are second value here. So the second values are 0, 1, 2, etc. So in this expression also, J is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay. These are the J values. So, here we have the expression for different series. Nu bar Q, nu bar S and nu bar O. Okay. And now you look at these expressions. The expression for nu bar Q, it is nu bar excitation minus nu bar 0. Here it is nu bar excitation minus nu bar 0 minus some other quantity. And in the case of O branch, it is nu bar excitation minus nu bar 0 plus some quantity. Okay. So you will get a line at the nu bar excitation minus nu 0. That will be the intense line because that does not correspond to any rotational transition. Okay, so that will be the intense line. And after that, there will be a series of lines. And those series of lines corresponds to 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. J is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. And therefore, the spectrum will appear like this. If we are drawing the spectrum, the spectrum will appear like this. So, here in the middle, you have a line in the middle, that line will be here and that line corresponds to the frequency which is nu bar excitation minus nu zero, nu bar excitation minus nu zero, okay. And after that, there will be a series of lines. So, let me uh, draw those series of lines. And this S branch, S branch has a less frequency than this Q branch. Okay, this is the frequency of the Q branch. And the S branch has some frequency which is less than that. Okay, so if J is equal to 0, then it is uh, the, the first value of this quantity for J is equal to 0. That is equal to B into 0 plus 6. That is equal to 6B. 6b, when j is equal to 1, it is equal to uh, 8, I don't know, 4 plus 6, that is equal to 10, 10b, then j is equal to 2, then that is equal to 8 plus 6, that is equal to 14b, etc. Right? So, these quantities are getting reduced to minus 6b, minus 10b, minus 14b, etc. So, you will get the first line here first line here which is minus 6 that is 6b less than this line right 6b less than this line so it will appear like this 6b and after that you will get a line at 10b which is only 4b less than this one 4b less than this one so it will appear here 4b less than this one so all, all lines are then uh, separated by 4b so it will appear like this. So, you will get a series of lines like this in the left side of this nu bar, uh, uh, nu bar excitation minus nu zero. Okay. And uh, this is because of the S branch. So, this is S branch. Let me write it here. This is S branch and this is uh, Q branch. Now, we have one more branch that is the O branch, right? O branch. And O branch has the frequency greater than the Q branch. 
This is the frequency of the Q branch, which is in the blue circle, and O branch has a greater frequency. And those frequencies will be determined by the different values of J. And for J is equal to 0, then it will be plus 6B. And for J is equal to 1, it will be plus 10B, then plus 14B, plus 18B, etc. Okay. So you will get a series of lines that is 6, 10, 14, 18, etc. So let me write, draw it here. A series of lines. The first line will be at uh, plus 6B. So it will appear here. Then the next line will be here. That is at the 10B. Then 14B, 18B, etc. Okay. So this is the O branch of the spectrum or branch of the uh, spectrum. So we have already uh, discussed the rotational fine structure. In the rotational fine structure you will get a different uh, series of lines that is a S branch, Q branch and O branch and the Q branch corresponds to no rotational transition. S branch corresponds to a rotational transition but in this case the the frequency is less than the q branch okay in the case of the s branch the frequency is uh, less than the uh, q branch and in the case of the o branch the frequency is greater than the uh, q branch okay because this corresponds to the rotational de excitation therefore some energy will be added to the, the added to the photon so this is how the rotational fine structure will arise and from this one we can get the value of B, right? Because these are governed by the value of B. Here you can see the B in this expression. Here also you can see the B in this expression. So if you are getting a rotational fine structure like this from that one you can get the value of B and uh, from that you can get the, uh, the parameters like uh, uh, the, the internuclear distance etc okay so even if you cannot extract this from the um, rotational spectroscopy okay for example the molecule is not uh, a permanent dipole and that time you can that that case you cannot get extract this parameter but you can get the raman spectroscopy and you can extract this rotational um, constant from that you can get the Internuclear axis, etc. So, Raman spectroscopy will be complementary to the uh, the IR spectroscopy and the rotation spectroscopy. Okay. So, I hope you understood this uh, Raman spectrum, how the rotational fine structure, how the vibrational uh, Raman spectrum arises, and how the rotational fine structure also arises. And uh, if you have any doubt, please don't hesitate to ask me. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned.